So this is going to be a pretty amazing video. What we're going to focus on is actually how we're going to get data from the UI and all the way down to our data source and then get data back from that data source. So how do we actually go through the code and how does this current setup actually even work? Now, I've already made an entire series about this, but I kind of just want to give you guys the quick and dirty overview so you can easily run over this if you just joined me right now. And uh, let's just have a look right here. Um, I made this small drawing right here. Now we start in the UI and when I look at the UI, what I'm talking about is the printer class right here. Now the printer class, he's going to make a call and let me just make a drawing right here. And the only thing he knows about is actually a customer service. Let me try and show what I'm talking about. He knows about a customer service right here. So every method that is available for the console or in our case, the printer here is actually specified inside the customer service. That's all he knows about right now. All the different calls in this guys are available for our UI or our console. So let's just try and look at that customer service right here. That means that for now, we know how to create a new customer, how to create customer, how to find customer ID and get all customers. And that's the one we wanna focus on right now. So this is why this is available because this interface right here provides me access down here inside the printer class. So if we look at the code again, notice right here, the customer service is available and it's available through dependency injection. So it pretty much means that this guy is being injected into the console. So I'm getting a dependency injection into the console right here on how to implement. So how do I implement the service, right? How do I make that implementation inside my code? And the way I do that, if you jump into the program, is that I explain that for the customer service, I'm going to provide to you a customer service class, an implementation class. So that pretty much means, I made it down here, it pretty much means that this guy will be dependency injected into the console app. So we know exactly how we can actually work with this because it's not enough to have a contract, right? You need to both have a contract and an actual implementation to do anything when you're coding. So let's try and have a look at the customer service. How does the customer service actually get all customers? Because that's what we're trying to do. So when I go down here, you'll see I'm using something called the customer repository to read all customers and convert them into a list. Okay, so let's try and have a look right here. How do I get that information about a customer repository? There's another interface. So that means that the service, this guy right here, he has to get some information and he grabs the information from down here, right? So he gets information from the customer repository interface. Again, he doesn't know how it's implemented. He just knows that I have the following uh, functions available inside my system. I have a create, read, read all, update and delete. And the read all is a list of customers or an innumerable of customers right here. That's how I can actually get the list of customers back. I don't know how I'm doing it. I just know I need access to all customers from a repository or some kind of table, some kind of data source. I need some information, right? But how do we actually then get that information? Same idea, we dependency inject. So we need some way to make an implementation and we actually have a repository impl dependency injected into our code as well. So if I jump back to the program, you'll notice that right here, I'm actually dependency injecting for the customer repository, a very specific customer repository. Now that customer repository is actually coming all the way down here inside the infrastructure, meaning over here. So let's just open that guy and notice he's extend, or sorry, implementing that uh, interface and he has a read all and all it does is pretty much just return the list of customers right here. Pretty simple stuff. But that means that now we've dependency injected that guy up here, yay. So we have a full circle, right? And that means that whenever I'm making a call from the printer, the printer using the customer service, the customer service knows that he has a read all. So if I open the UI right here, and let's just try and go down to read all customers right here, I can just call the get all customers from the service. And the service will say, okay, well, I know when I'm getting all customers, I can use my repository to read all customers from a data source. I wanna split those up. The difference between a data source and the application logic is because we might have some application specific information in here. We don't in this case, but we could have. And 
then we need to kind of just get the data source here and maybe do something, manipulate it before we actually pass it onward in the system. That's why we have this center layer that might seem uh, like too much right now. But don't worry, it'll start making sense later. But that's why the get all customer reads all from the repository. If we go down to the repository right here, we get the read all and that just returns for now the actual list of customers right here. I think we're going to change that next couple of lessons, but now you know it's there. It sends it back, it returns it as an iNormable right here. So we go back to the service that passes it back to the guy who called get all customers. He returns it as a list, not an enumerable, but a list. We talked about that earlier. So jumping back to the printer, he gets the list of customers back and then he pretty much just prints the customers. So that's the step, right? So here we list all the customers. So that's all we had to do. So again, if I just undo this and just try and show you the calls right here. So what happened is the console app, right here he calls down to the customer service, gives me, give me a list of customers, right? The customer service says, okay, I asked this guy how to do it, but in reality, I'm actually asking this guy how to get the list right now. And he says, okay, here's the list. There you go. Actually, I'm giving you back an enumerable of the list. So we pass that back, passes it back to this guy who passes it back to the UI who then presents it. So that's the full circle right there. And I know there's a lot of information here, but you'll have to kind of start understanding the different calls through the layers and then it'll make more and more sense and be easier and easier to implement this setup right here with the clean architecture. That's it for this lesson. See you next time.